Hey there geeks and geekettes, something a bit different for you today. Got some DC figures, oh yeah. So once again, Mrs. Geek um, found these, not found them as such, she bought them. Um, basically there was a collector on social media that had doubles of some of his busts, his DC busts, and put them on Facebook Marketplace for, I think these were £5 each. I've looked online and they're worth between £16 and £20 each. Um, I was quite close to home, so we just drove out to collect them. So I'm going to open these up. I even made space back there. On my DC shelving, all my Marvel Legends have now taken over two shelves instead of one. So I'm going to open up the Scarecrow first. Now I don't need a knife for this by the look of it. The Leroy Screwballs Wallet Hero. Now Leroy used one of these in his own videos. And it's got to be said it was pretty useless and funny. But oh, because I've only got a little bit of cellophane, I'm sure... This wonderful gift off the Mr. Screwballs will suffice. Letter opener, box opener. There we go. Leroy, it works. So, cellophane off. Now, these I believe are Eagle Moss. So, I'll show you the front first. There is the Scarecrow Batman Universe Collector's Bust. Same on the top and the other side. And on the back you have your Eagle Moss First Floor, Beaumont House, Kensington Village, even more Road London. Collector's model, not designed or intended for play by children under 14 years of age. And we've got the trademark stuff on the bottom. So, let's get him out. That is an awesome bust. I really, really like that. Now, I'm, I have picked holes in just about everything Eagle Moss that I've ever had. And this, I can't pick holes in. There's some incredible detail on this. I mean, the stitching all over the sleeves, the sort of noose around his throat to hold the sack mask on, stitching on his face. All the paint apps look nice and crisp. Eagle Moss actually released something that's really nice. And oh, it looks like it's numbered as well. Batman Universe, Scarecrow, and then some numbers. So back to the Leroy Screwballs. Wonderful gift, the wallet hero. Sent from the kindness of his heart in with my Secret Santa package. And on the second figure, which is Nightwing. Um, there's nothing sort of different on the box. The box art doesn't seem any different however this figure is a lot bigger yeah the box art is exactly the same just uh the box is bigger once again not for under 14s much like my channel so batman universe nightwing This is a much larger figure, I say much larger, compare them. He is slightly bigger, he's in a much bigger box maybe because of the arm, way his arms are and obviously the, the nightsticks he's got. The paint job on this one is not quite as good. There's a, a black scuff there and his hair, 
they've sort of missed with the paint. They've gone too high up with the paint there. But other than that, I don't know, his, uh, his neck there, they've actually brought the skin colour down onto his costume. I might actually try and touch the dark paint up on this myself because it's just uh, a sort of a matte black. They missed a few bits on the, the hair on the back as well. So your, your, your general standard Eagle Moss uh, quality control there. But still a nice looking figure and from a distance, nothing wrong. Um, I should have researched how much these are sort of new, I mean they, these aren't new, they're still in the cellophane, but you know what I mean, for the subscription, because I actually like these, and I think you can pick these up on Zavi now, and I'm sure they're £15 and up. Well, that Scarecrow is honestly outstanding, and he's one of my favourite villains next to the Joker, is the Scarecrow. Nightwing, sloppy pink job aside, it's still a good best. There's a nice weight to these. They don't feel cheap. They don't look cheap either. I mean, the, the dirty wash on this Scarecrow figure, I like that. It's just a shame that the same sort of attention to detail wasn't spent with Nightwing, where the blues bled over there. You can see paint runs in the back there. Paint runs across there. Blue slips on the shoulder. Much like some other Eagle Moss things I have, it looks like a toddler's painted it. And then this one, there's nothing wrong with it. There is not an issue on this figure. I don't understand how they can, the standards can be so different. And it's a shame because they do make some quality items. Anything to do with sort of um, spaceships and sort of um, cartoon or comic book characters they do quite well at. Um, even this little Peter Baelish figure, I mean, look at it. He does look like half of his face has just gone to sleep. And that was free in a, in a box. So there's the desk cam and there is Nightwing and Scarecrow. Obviously, Scarecrow being the far better painted of the two. Nothing wrong with the sculpt on either of them. I don't dislike this Nightwing. It's just a shame some of the paint is quite sloppy. I'm tempted to try and clean it up myself. And I need to get one of those turny things. Guys, a little bit different there. My unboxings of these Eagle Moss Batman busts. If I find any more of these sort of cheap out in the wild, I'll definitely pick them up. Because for £5, I can forgive the paint flaws on that. £5 that, absolutely perfect. I'd have paid more, a lot more for that. So guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe as it really helps my channel out. And I will see you again for another review. Bye.